wake up to the smell of tranquilizing coffee and enjoy the scenic beauty of this misty land of hills and streams. Kurg, officially known as Kodagu, is the most affluent hill station in Karnataka. It is well known for its breathtaking exotic scenery and lush greenery. Kurg lives up to its name with luring amalgamation of history, luxury, adventure, mouth-watering cuisine. Located along the Western Ghats, this famous coffee-producing hill station is well known for its jaw-dropping, ravishing scenery and opulence. So today is the second day at Kurg and our driver RK Pujari will drive us to Dubare at first. As you see friends, morning beauty is always like a charm and having full breath of oxygen. Deep forest and feeling cold for morning, we are ahead to Dubare. Right now we reached at Dubari and going down to the Kaveri river to enjoy some beautiful moments. My daughter is really going to be crazy and saying something. Dubare Elephant Camp hosts more than 150 elephants and spending time with these big creatures is a sure short way to have fun with your entire family. Now I am going to be crazy, touching the water and trying walk or little bit trek to feel closer sensation and enjoy better view of here. Many more wild animals roam in this deciduous forest nearby. The place has many well-trained naturalists who can help you get in close contact with these elephants. Now enjoy the beautiful visualization taking from my drone. Now moving to Chiklihol Reservoir. The security already warned me not to fry drone here. So just taking some footages and feeling the serenity of this beautiful flesh. Lovely shedding place with an amazing view of backwaters as well as forest. Mm. 
now I am going down and wishing if I can jump and swim in this clear water it will be very fun one can spend a long time sitting peacefully here and watching the crystal clear water a must visit flesh for nature lovers it is ideally placed in reserve forest it has a unique shaped dam with reservoir one cannot enter the waters as it is not safe now we are at kaveri nishargadhama it is a natural island formed by the river kaveri it is one of the beautiful place in kurk this is a 64 km wide island located near kushalnagar and surrounded by the kaveri river The place is known for its rich flora which includes dense forests of bamboo trees, teak wood, sandalwood and other varieties. In addition, numerous bird species and animals like deer, rabbits etc can be seen on the island. Plus, elephant rides are also an offer. guys you can see so much dense bamboo forest which i never seen before now i am here at kaveri nisarga dham this is the most beautiful place in our tour day to trip now let's check it out the amazing aerial view of nisarga dham with flowing of Kaveri rivers water Now here we can see a replica for the tribal common people of Kodagu and their day to day life picture The Kurg district accounts for a heavy concentration of tribal population. 90% of the tribes in Kurg subsist on their traditional economic system of hunting and gathering minor forest produces besides attempting subsistence farming. There are three major community in Kurk. They are Kodava, Mofilash, or Kodava, Mafilash, Kodagu Godas, and the Berish. The Kodava Mafilash, earlier called as Indian Muslim community, is the major community in Kurk. Kodagu Godas, another major ethnic group in the Kurk, are found mainly in Virajpet. and Shamwarpet Talukash According to the author the fiercely independent people of Kurk are descendants of Greek or Arabs a part of Alexander's army moved south along the coast and settled there only when they were unable to return to their country these people married amongst the locals and their culture remains alive even to this day here also boating facility is available mainly paddle boat due to narrow shaft of the river here it is namtrolling monastery also widely known as the golden temple is the largest teaching center 
of the school of Tibetan Buddhism known as Nilgampa. Absolutely serene place. The monastery is well laid out and very well maintained. We are on the way in the late afternoon for the last time. We are going to visit an old coffee plantation. As Burgi is famous for its coffee plantation, so as a nature lover, for the last time we are going to visit Markarag Gold Estate Coffee Plantation. As you see, this is the common features of a coffee plantation. The landscape is 45 to 60 degrees deeper and not easy to walk. Actually, in this coffee plantation, there is an another attraction. Inside, there is a coffee factory and we are very interested to see it. Our knowledgeable guide, Mr. Ruby, describing us everything done in this factory about the producing of coffee. Unroasted, no? Those are unroasted. These three are. Last year, roasting is there. 